What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Hello, hi. I'm calling in from our bedroom, just chilling right now, and I just wanted to say hello. Good morning. It is now Wednesday for us, and we are actually driving down to Arizona. We waited till the stay at home uh, ban was lifted, and we're gonna go visit my family. I have my stepmom there, and then also my dad. I had to pause and have Sir Benton because someone's been getting into the trash lately, and that's not okay. He's four years old. Almost, he will be five and it just cracks me up that he acts like a puppy sometimes. Anyways, as I was saying, is we are going down to Arizona this weekend, so I've just been kind of prepping, working a bit, need to get the apartment ready. Does anyone else like need to have a clean apartment to come home to, clean house, because that's me. Like, I must have it. But you know what I wanted to make this vlog based on? Hit, high intensity interval trainings. And a lot of you are like, why? But a lot of people have been asking me, can you show your sprints? Why do you do HIT? And you know what? I figured I'd just go over what the benefits of HIT cardio is. Basically, to summarize it for you in the very beginning, HIT is what gets your heart rate going, what's going to make you out of breath, something that you are just constantly, rapidly going at. There's not a lot of breaks. That is HIT, high intensity. Low steady state could be a moderate jog, a brisk walk, uh, maybe biking. So those are kind of the differences, but I'll take you throughout my day and I'll kind of explain what I've been doing with my HIT and how it really helps me when I'm trying to burn fat. So you guys know I've already discussed that I think HIT really helps me burn fat in general. So I'm just gonna go over why I think that and what the benefits are. There's even longevity benefits, okay? I'm all about longevity. Mm-hmm. So don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and let's get started. Do you wanna say hi to our friend? Oh. He, he's had a rough morning so far. He got into the trash and we were not very happy with him, but that's okay. He's also still like nice and fluffy from his little grooming day. But anyways, it's the morning. And honestly, I wanted to just kind of chat with you before I get the day started. So I try to incorporate HIT at least three days a week. So you all know that I do my running and I've been doing five miles a day. It's rough, I'm not gonna lie. This is also not comfy, one moment, moment, there we go. How, how is this for you, Bentley? Are you comfy? Because I'm really comfy. Anyways, I run five days a week, and that is more like a low steady state cardio, unless I'm like sprinting, really picking up my pace. And then I do weightlifting, and you know, a great way to incorporate HIT into weightlifting is doing little rests, or doing like some cardio activity in between your sets. So I'm gonna show you today's, what is, today's Wednesday, so it's gonna be leg day. So I'm just gonna show you an example. I'll like probably quickly film it, um, you know, after my run. It just shows like I either do jumping jacks or jumping squats just in between my sets. That way my heart rate is never resting and I'm just constantly out of breath, constantly getting that high intensity workout. Something that I really love about HIT though, and even when I'm doing my weightlifting and I incorporate HIT, you don't need any form of equipment for HIT. You can literally do burpees in your room. You can do jumping squats. You literally don't need anything. That is my favorite thing about HIT. is like, if you wanna get a quick workout in, not only is it quick and effective, so not doing them as long as if you were taking a five mile run, you know, your HIT workouts might be 20 to 30 minutes opposed to a full hour. It's just really nice because it's quick, effective, and you're also not required to have any type of equipment. Sometimes I get frustrated especially during this quarantine. I was so annoyed because I could not have the proper amount of weights. Is it still a bummer? Absolutely. I miss those weights every day, every day. Like the 15 pounds will do, but they don't have my heart. Waiting for the gyms, man, waiting for the gyms. Anywho though, you can literally do hit anywhere you want, anytime you want you can go for it. Okay, so you guys have already seen, I'm gonna probably make avocado toast for breakfast, so I'm not gonna bore you, but Michael and I are probably gonna go for a five mile run, and then I'll probably pan off to uh, my workout, and I'll just kind of film a quick one, just so you can see like my style of hit when I am working out, and incorporating hit with my weightlifting. Okay, let's go. Make out, but thrill of it, mess. 
All right, friends, we are showered and I'm probably going to put some makeup on because I have a doctor's appointment. Yearly doctor's appointment, okay? Women's health should not wait. So <laughs> I'm gonna get ready, but I figured like, why not put some mascara on? It's the only place I'm going, okay? And then I'm going to the store, so let a girl put some mascara on. Anyways, yes, I am back in my outfit as well because we recycle outfits in the right Hummel household. Boy, yes we do, quarantine or not. You catch me wearing the same thing every day, all day, okay? But I did wanna bring up something about HIT that I thought was really interesting while I was researching it. So everyone's always like, why does HIT burn more fat, more calories than like a steady state jog or something like that? Well, I actually researched it. And when you're doing like a high intensity circuit or something like that, your body's exertion goes into like a hyperdrive to repair itself. Opposed if you're just doing a steady jog, your body will repair itself over time. But with HIT, it's going to pull more from your body to go into that hyperdrive and actually heal and repair you, which is why it's burning so many calories. It's because it's like, hey guys, we need to repair her right away. She just did a very intense workout. So we're gonna burn some fat. We're gonna burn some calories while we do it. Okay, I'll just prop you here. I'm trying not to get cut off, but I don't have my tripod. But a boo. Anywho, I don't know why I did that. So we're gonna put some makeup on, AKA we're gonna put some mascara on. And honestly, I kinda wanna put concealer on. One moment, let's put this fun thing on. So honestly, I'm not a fan of putting makeup on, especially face makeup. But I've noticed with how much I run, I have a gnarly tan, literally my elbows are tanned. And I took a picture in a bathing suit, if you can tell. And I have a farmer's tan, like a farmer's tan that shows shorts. Is that okay? I don't know. What I was saying is I'm not really into face makeup, but with how much I'm running, my face gets burnt or tan and then it's all discolored. So if you guys have any light, nice little sunscreen and like matte foundation or what is it? I don't know, you know, that like blends it together. This is how much I don't know. Uh, please recommend. I've heard the company Tarte is good, um, but I just don't know what to buy. So all my beauty lovers, all my beauty gurus, please let me know. I'm just putting on sunscreen right now. I've literally shown you this a million times. I have this one and then I have the PM one because safety first and nobody wants wrinkles, am I right? I also wanted to bring up with HIT, something that's really cool about HIT is you're also improving your heart health during this time. So the reason why that is, is because you are essentially training your heart. You know that anaerobic state, the state that basically is when your heart feels like it's pounding out the chest and you can't breathe. You're basically strengthening it every single time. So there's been like certain studies, which I thought were really cool, that like they'd have someone do HIT opposed to someone that just did like steady state jog. And the person that did HIT could bike in the end as someone that was doing like steady state cardio or something. So that was kind of interesting. So I look ridiculous with this headband on. So what I also thought was really cool, and I looked it up because I didn't want to be incorrect, is it helps longevity and anti-aging. Let me read this to you. HIT basically stimulates like the production of your hormone, hormone growth by up to 450% in the like in the 24 hours of you doing HIT, but it also slows down the anti-aging process. So it's a little sneaky benefit that I thought was kind of cool because we all wanna look good when we're 30s and 40s and 50s, am I right or am I right? Okay, I'm gonna stop blabbing and I'm gonna put some makeup on. This is a very weird vlog. <laughs> I'm just letting you know that right now. This is very random. I feel chaotic. Getting ready for my doctors. And we are done. Not much to it, very simple. Easy, get ready with me, a doctor's edition. I like never like putting mascara on. I just feel like it kind of gets all like smudged everywhere and I miss my fake eyelashes, but it's kind of nice to take a break, be a bit more natural. And then I just put some bronzer on, some blush, and then some highlighter. Outfit of the day is going to be the same joggers I've been wearing. And honestly, you can dress up any kind of jogger, but I just, I think I got these from H&M and I have the gnarliest tan line right here. Tan lines all together just not going well for me. Why not, oh my God. Oh my gosh, that is so bad. Like I haven't been out 
Like we don't go outside usually other than running and I wear a sports bra. Wow. Oh, all right, well I'm gonna look this way. That's okay. So anyways, I got this top at like H&M for like $3. It's like, I just liked how it was cut. So I get really nervous when I go to the doctor's office and like this is a normal checkup. I just get nervous. I don't like doctor's offices. So I'm gonna wear a tank top so I don't sweat so much. And then I'll probably just bring a jacket. All right, friends, well. Michael's mask, ignore that. We just got to the clinic. I have no idea where this clinic is, so I'm gonna go wander. And then I'll talk to you after, okay? We're gonna have a nice little chat. Oh, definitely need the mask. Definitely need the mask. I have very, I have a very small head. I'm well aware of that. I got pin, called pinhead in high school, so these don't fit me quite properly. It was a teacher that called me that too. It's not very nice. Hello friends. I'm sure you guys are like, wait, where the heck is this timeline? And I'm talking to you a week later. So basically I filmed that vlog last week before we went to Arizona. So you're probably like, I already saw you came back from Arizona. What the heck, Savannah? But honestly, after that doctor's appointment, I had some things come up during it. Um, you know, I went for a normal checkup and they actually found a lump in my breast and they were like, hey, it might be an overkill, but we just want to get you in the breast center and get an ultrasound just in case, just checking it. I have breast cancer that runs in my family, so they just wanted to be safe. And honestly, I was pretty upset about it. I mean, who wouldn't be? I was very anxious for about a week and then I had the appointment a couple days ago we're fine, we're safe. They didn't see anything alarming, which is great news. But that is why I paused that video, um, just because, I don't know, I just, I was so anxious all week and I just could not imagine picking up that video after that doctor's appointment. So this is why I'm finishing the video now, a week later. And you guys, like, I really value honesty and I want to be open with you guys and that's why I did tell you that was what was going on and I just want to be very transparent on my channel and I also don't think that women's health should be hush hush. I think it's important to go get checkup. I think it's important to do precautionary things with your doctors. So that's why I'm telling you that right now because health is important and it should always be transparent and nobody should be ashamed of it or embarrassed of it or anything like that. And if you've ever had to deal with it, you're not alone. Anyways though, on a lighter note, I love you guys and I'm sure you guys will totally accept it and be so sweet about it. But I just figured I'd kind of finish the hit video today. I haven't done my sprints yet, but you know what guys? I have tried to film my sprints. It is nearly impossible to film sprints. Speed demon. I'm basically, is it Flash? Is that a Marvel character? But you guys know that I've been incorporating three hit sprints a week. Last week I actually didn't do any of them. I took a week off just because my body felt so tired. So I picked it back up. I'll probably be doing sprints later today. What I do for my sprints and all I do is three times a week, 15 minutes. If you think about it, that is 20 minutes out of your time if you shower. And I do 30 seconds on full sprint. A lot of people are like, how the heck do you sprint just outside? I literally run like someone is chasing me. I probably look so silly and I run across the strip just back and forth and then I walk for 30 seconds after and I repeat that 15 times. I have this app, I think it's called Interval Trainer or like Interval Pro or something like that. But if you just go on you know, your apps, there's gonna be free interval training or free timer apps, anything like that. It makes it so much easier when you have someone saying, all right, five seconds left or rest this break. So that way you're not constantly looking at your phone. And you know, put on some good old high school musical and just rock it out. Literally on repeat, scream, bet on it. Get your head in the game, that's a good one. Right here, right now, telling you some bangers from High School Musical that you could use. So, it's a great time, I'm not gonna lie. You don't need to slave away for hours to do it. You can literally just slowly incorporate sprints into your workout or up your hit and intensity with your workouts in general, kind of like I showed when I'm taking little rest. And that's really what I love about HIT is you don't have to kill yourself or slave away. Like, it is so cool quick and so effective and you can be burning fat, you're gonna be burning calories even after it. Okay, before I end this vlog, I was like, I got a parcel. Who doesn't love unboxing? I just went and got it. Let's open this puppy up. Oh my goodness. They are these tie-dye hoodie. This company, it's called like Feet, F-E-A-T. 
just like sent me some cute little tie-dye hoodies and I'm, I'm pretty stoked. And then they sent a couple from Michael as well. Spoiled man. How cute. So their whole point is that their sweatshirts are basically like blankets. So it legit feels like, won't that be a fleece blanket? But oh, it's so cute. Oh my goodness. This is unreal. Literally feels like I'm wearing a blanket. I think this is like an extra large as well. So it could technically go all the way down. Oh, it's like a little dress. But I'm more of a gal that likes a little baggy. Oh, this is so cute. Everyone is tie-dyeing right now. I don't have time to tie-dye. Also, I feel like that would be a fail for me. So I've just been wanting to buy tie-dye and I am sold on these hoodies. Like, oh, so comfy, super comf. I'll write down their name for you just in case you guys want to try them out as well. But you guys, I have tested out so far. The haul is still coming for Gymshark, don't worry. But I've tested out the new flex shorts because you know how I said they're naturally more high-waisted? I'm not fibbing, I'm not lying. So I was wearing the ones in the last video and they kind of like hang a little lower so you always have to hike them up yourself. I don't really mind it, but this one, this new edition is way longer. So it does not cut off my legs at all. It does not hike up at all, which is so nice. I'm probably gonna go run in these. And then this sits naturally as a high waist. So just above my belly button, which is perfect. And look at that. Look how cute that is. Oh, oh, who is that? Who's that little booty? I'm not gonna lie. My booty gains have not been big during quarantine gonna tell you that right now <laughs> all right guys well I'm gonna wrap up this vlog I've got another one coming at you but I just wanted to be honest with you guys and tell you what happened a week past and I was like this is why I've been kind of off lately so hope you understand I hope this hit kind of vlog it was very random helped you I just wanted to hang out for the day don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you next time